everyone, Chris here with another Monday Cardboard Masterpiece. Today we're going to look at another T206 card, and this card is of Ed Rulebach of the Chicago Cubs. Now, Big Ed, he was really one of the better, most dominant pitchers during the dead ball era. But unfortunately, he's kind of overlooked and overshadowed by one, his his teammate, Mordecai Three Finger Brown, but also his crosstown, uh, crosstown rival, Big Ed Walsh of the Chicago White Sox. But now Rulebach, he was a really good pitcher in his own right. And from 19, in 1906, 1907, and 1908, he was the, um, he had the best winning percentage of any pitcher. Now, in those three years, the Cubs also won the pennant and went to the World Series, losing in 1906 to the White Sox, but then beating back-to-back -back the um, Detroit Tigers led by Ty Cobb in 1907 and 1908. So he was really a big part of that run, being the best winning percentage pitcher on his team, but also in baseball. So he was he was a huge part of those teams. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the story of, of the Merkel game against the New York Giants in 1908. Now, what is kind of often overlooked is, is how dominant Ed Rulebach was down the stretch of that 1908 season, ultimately forcing a, a playoff game against the Giants. But on sept so the um the Merkel game was September 23rd. And then going into the game or into September 26th, the Giants had a half game lead on the Cubs, and the Cubs were just a half game ahead of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So it was really, really an intense race. And on September 26th, the, the Cubs kind of they were worn down. Their pitchers were starting to get a little bit tired from, from this pennant race. And Ed Rulebach stepped up and said, hey, I'll, I'll pitch back-to-back -back doubleheader today against Brooklyn. So he did that. And not only did he do that, but he pitched complete game shutouts, a feat that has never been done before. So he pitched back-to-back -back shutouts in a doubleheader on the same day to in the heat of a, of a really tight pennant race, which is really, really remarkable. But he, he was just a fantastic pitcher and uh, even pitched a 20-inning complete game and an 18-inning complete game. Just a great, great pitcher. And then ultimately, in, in that 1908 season, after pitching that back-to-back, -back, those back-to-back -back shutouts in the doubleheader, just a, a few days later, he pitched a two-hit shutout complete game against the Reds. And then three days later, pitched another five-inning shutout. So he actually finished in 1908. He finished the season with 44 shutout innings. So he was a huge part really helping the Cubs in, end up in a tie with the Giants that year and ultimately beating them in the playoff game and going on to win the World Series in 1908. If you've never read the book, there's a great book about that 1908 season called 1908. It's really a fantastic book. So just kind of looking at this card, I've, I've actually wanted this card for a really long time. I love the background color and really, to me, the jersey really pops out on this card and, and just the pose in the picture here, but I love how you have the Chicago going down the middle of the jersey. And to me, it's just one of the better looking cards in the T206. I think it's just a fabulous card. I think it has great color. And then obviously just to me, historical significance because Ed Rulebach was such a great player. And like I said, unfortunately he was overshadowed pretty much his entire career. Not only that, but when he died in 1961, you would think that would be the big headline of, of a, a former Major League Baseball star passing away. But even in his death, he was overshadowed because he died on the exact same day as Ty Cobb. So even in death, he was kind of overshadowed. Now, I don't usually talk about condition of cards. But I think this is kind of significant in that sometimes you really have to go with kind of eye appeal over the, the actual assigned grade. And, and I think this is just a, a fantastic example here 
of this card where I was able to get it at a cheaper price than I normally would. And you look at the back, it actually, you probably can't see it, but it's got some staining, but also it's got a little uh, crease there kind of at the bottom. I was really happy, and again, I don't really talk about condition too much because this, to me, is more about the card, but I think this is kind of important to talk a little bit about the price because I was able to get a great looking card, in my opinion, for, for a price that I was really happy with just because of its technical grade. So anyway, that's the um, Monday Cardboard Masterpiece for this week. Big Ed Rulebach, to me, he should be in the Hall of Fame, but probably never will be. Um, just kind of overlooked and overshadowed still many, many years after his death. Anyway, appreciate you all watching and we'll see you next time.